Okay, we got uh, ALTI, first trade of the day. Um, daily chart looks good. Um, here's the daily chart real quick. And uh, the intraday chart, as you can see, also kind of gapped up and trying to run to high. So I bought a little bit as a probe. I probe some shares, and then I just kind of watch it. And if it starts to move in my direction, I'll chase it and buy some more. It's not really a chase because we just opened up here. There's not much of a downside risk to 450, so we got about a $0.05 cent risk here. Uh, we will see how this one goes for you. LT is starting to move for us. I got 2,000 shares. I'm just going to sell a little bit here at 60 cents to see if we can get through the 60. Um, solar stocks again are making a move and uh, buying a little bit more ESLR here. I bought a couple of shares as a probe just to watch it, like I said, and then see uh, if it had any follow through. Uh, LDK is another solar stock. It's kind of nasty sometimes, so I just bought 100 shares. It is going through highs, so we're happy about that. Um, ALTI, not quite at 60 yet. LDK, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and offer this out at the round number right about right now, so before I forget about it, uh, we'll just do 95, 4195. Maybe we'll get hit on that and get a nice surprise. Everything else in the green for the moment. I'd like to see this LT get to 60, and I can sell a couple up there at 60. So, uh, quick look at the market. Um, S&Ps kind of came in. Now they're going back towards high, so I'm not thinking short. I'm thinking long. Here's LDK making a quick little move as it does. So, we are trying to get some shares off at 95. We'll see if that happens. I'll put you on pause here. Actually, I'm going to keep watching it because it's moving higher, 84 cents. This one right here, you can see New York is stuck. 75 is the real offer right now. Okay, that's catching up to it. Um, 84, 77, 88, 94. That was close. 95. Okay, we're sold at 95, so we're happy about that. Uh, I'm going to try and offer at 59 here in this uh, LT. The reason being the market is starting to roll over pretty hard, and um, I just don't want to lose these little profits that I have here. Um, I'll take the other half and hit the bid for a thousand. Didn't really move the bidders here, so I've got another thousand. I just want to lighten up again. The market's uh, had a pretty good run, and I don't want to try and fight the tide. Nobody's hitting me at uh, 59, so let's cancel the order and just take it on the bid. And we're out. And if this thing pulls back 10 cents, we will not be crying about spilled milk. Um, quick uh, note on level two. The um, some of the people have been writing me saying they're not really familiar with level two, and just let me quickly show you here. This is a level two box, obviously showing the stock, shows the current price. Um, N5. That just means my 500 share default is is in this stock. Low here, 2472. High, 2490. And the time and sales on the right, um, 2.76 million is the total volume so far. So I take a quick scan of this uh, header panel here just to make sure, you know, where highs and lows are, how much volume has been done. And then on the left-hand side, these are the bidders, all aggregated by their price. The best price right now is 24.80. Um, Nasdaq and Arca. Let me explain what that means. Nasdaq and Arca and Cowan and Wachovia, B of A. These are all market makers. Some of them are banks like B of A, Wachovia, and some of them are called ECNs, which means Electronic Communications Network. It's basically a, a stock trading network, and it has a name. They all have four-letter acronyms. We have the Nasdaq, which used to be uh, Island and Instanet which is now merged, and then ARCA, which is, stands for Archipelago, uh, is the other main instant uh, or electronic crossing network, ECN, electronic crossing network, electronic communication network, whatever you want to call it. But that's the way in which you advertise and display your bids and offers, and you use those networks. And those networks will give you uh, rebates if you advertise your price on there, and you get your price, you have added liquidity to the market, and you do get rebates on the back end of your commissions. Um, Again, quickly, uh, 2470, 2469, 68. You can just see the bidder is lining up right here. This 13, 12, 8, 4. That shows their size, what they're willing to buy, what they're willing to uh, advertise. 27, you take uh, two zeros off that. It basically means 2700. So just like on time and sales, a 1 means 100 shares, 3 means uh, 300 shares. Um, let's go to something a little bit more slower. Um, here's TiVo. We got somebody now on NASDAQ bidding 1,900 shares, 2,000 shares, along with Archipelago bidding 700 shares. We got sellers over here at 847 with 700 shares and uh, somebody on Arca with 300 shares. That is how a market is made. Um, I watch level two sometimes. Uh, try not to pay too much attention to some of the games that goes on midday, 
but uh, at the beginning of the day and the end of the day when orders need to be sent through, um, you can kind of rely a little bit more on the uh, size that they are displaying. So there's a quick uh, tutorial on level two. Um, hopefully that uh, answered a few questions. Here's a quick look at ESLR. We were in that earlier and we got a little spooked when the market got uh, heavy. So as you can see, it was a good it was a good decision to follow my gut instincts and just go ahead and get out of that one for uh, I think it was a nine dollar loss. Let's see here. I'm sorry, it was a twenty dollar loss. So you know that's within the uh, the scope of acceptable losses. So uh, could have been a lot worse if I'd have hung on. And uh, you know if the market firms may get back into this thing at a better price, who knows? Um, LDK, just a quick note here on the level two high forty one ninety five. Gee, I wonder who that lucky person was that sold their shares at forty one ninety five. Hmm, must be a good trader. I'm going to rebid this ESLR, and I'm going to use the uh, moving averages there, uh, fourteen, and maybe the moving average right here. Hopefully, try and back it up six cents and uh, pick up a bid from somebody else that uh, is not happy right now. Very close to getting hit here in ESLR at fourteen. Let's see if they can push through. Actually. Actually, I'm going to cancel that bid, and I'm going to go right in between the spread here, and maybe somebody will hit me. I'll take a two-cent differential in that, and I'm watching the offer here. Hello. Okay, I went ahead and just um, jumped in at three cents. I couldn't get hit on the bid for the moment. Um, just a few hundred shares here. It's kind of a probe, and it might be trying to break 14 while we're watching if it breaks 14. I will watch it for a few pennies and see what it does, because sometimes it'll flush through a number and try and get people out, and then it'll come right back. So that's why I only have 300 shares here. Once I'm convinced that uh, the bid is solid and uh, the stock can maybe try and move back up, I may add to my shares. But quickly, you guys can see what I like here on the daily chart. We're talking about entries. Um, I know the stock is doing okay. The other solar stocks are doing something, but we're right here on the moving average, so we're going to lean on this moving average and hope that it uh, can be there for us. Okay, this spread opened up a little bit. Uh, we had a four bid, so I'm jumping in with the four bid to add to my shares. Hopefully that signifies a stabilization. Not that these solar stocks always follow the market, but the market is uh, firming up again for the moment. So, um, okay, looks like we got hit. We got a full load here of the uh, ESLR. Our average price is 1403. Let's put in 500 shares and let's just go ahead and predefine our loss. I'll take this to uh, 1394 if I have to. We'll put that in there and look for some better opportunities or some other opportunities because hopefully this one will go for us. All right, uh, so far ESLR is working out for us. Uh, we got a 15 by 16, so we're in at a decent price. So it would be uh, wise for us to hopefully let this thing run back towards highs. If the other stocks, like, you know, for instance, CSIQ, having a pretty good day, um, LDK just setting up, not really doing a whole lot, STP. So for now, we're in the money, but uh, hopefully we can build on it. I also bought some CY Cypress Semiconductor. It is also a solar play. For some reason, the Cypress Semiconductor has a big uh, influence in the solar market. I guess they make semiconductors for the control panels or what have you. So just uh, looking at the chart, rather than buying it up here, I watched it and saw a pretty big pullback. I've seen this thing do that before. It's kind of nasty. So just 200 shares in this one. I've got to stop in about 10 cents below. It's not really doing a whole lot. I'm hoping for a sympathy move higher. So that's the reason for the Cypress trade. Back in ESLR, it's just still kind of sitting in between its range. And now the market's getting a little heavy again at the wrong time. Also bought a little bit of Northwest Air because I saw American Airlines making highs. Um, Southwest Airlines doing pretty good too. So my partner and I looked at, uh, looked at the NWA and it was pretty much right here and uh, took a chance on a pullback. ESLR, eh. futures are not helping our stuff right now, not helping our stuff at all. I'm actually going to go out. Looks like I just got stopped out of Cyprus. I'm trying to trade the market. I just got ahead and uh, got out of that. NWA, ESLER, I'm sorry, ESLR. I just don't know what to do with it. I don't think it's going to run with the uh, the market. CSIQ still on highs. I'm going to leave the solar play alone. I'm not going to let the futures get me out of the solar play. But as you can see, look at that. It's starting to roll over here. Here's the Qs. They're starting to roll over. So getting a little heavy in the market. I'm not going to be looking to taking on any new longs at the moment. Um, NWA, you know, 
just not going to trust that one with the market, but for the time being, we'll stay in the solar. But darn it, they're uh, getting heavy. I probably made a mistake selling these airlines. Uh, I was assuming the uh, market would bring the airlines down, but Continental just rocking, Delta just rocking, AMR um, still up, Southwest going. So, you know, dang it, I uh, I got out too soon.